Hi, this is Mrs. Rodriguez with another lesson video. So today we're gonna to be looking at how to graph a mystery graph. Okay, now this is different than plotting points. Um, if you're looking for a video on how to plot points, I have a video on, on that. This is if you're given a mystery image that you're gonna be graphing, okay? So it works a little differently. You're gonna see start and end. That means that's a section of the image that you're working on where those points will be connected by a line. And then at the end, you start on the next session and it's a whole new um, point system and line system. Okay, so it's not a continuation. When one part ends, it ends, and then you're starting a new section of the image. And then at the end, there should be some sort of picture that is revealed. Okay, so as always, don't forget, with your points, your first number is your X and your second number is your Y, okay? And your X is the line that goes side to side and your Y goes up and down. So the way this works is you start with what number is your X and for the first one, it's zero. And what's your number for Y? Two. So I'm gonna put my finger on zero for X and two for y, and if I put my fingers and see where the point ends up, it would end up right here, okay? And then make sure you cross out um, the points given as you plot them so you don't get confused on where you're at. Okay, the next one's zero, three, so once again, x is zero, y is three, so my point's gonna be there. And because this is a mystery graph, we're gonna connect the points with a line, all right? Now we have three, six. So three is my X and six is my Y. So remember, I'm gonna go in the direction of up for X, the three, and to the right for six, I'm following those lines and seeing where they meet. And they meet right here. So that's how I know where to put the point. And now I'm gonna go ahead and connect my two points together. Now, when you're doing this on your graph paper, it's very helpful to have a ruler, okay? The next one is seven and two, so X is seven, so I'm gonna, here's my seven. My two is there, so I'm gonna go along the right for my two and up for my seven and seeing where those lines meet. And they meet right here, so that's my next point. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the dots now, because this is a mystery image, you're not going to write A, B, C to name the points um, that you're plotting. You're also not gonna write the X and the Y next to the points, because remember, we're looking for an image. We want a pretty picture when we're done. The next point is zero, negative seven. So X is zero, Y is negative seven, so that's gonna go down here. And once again, we are going to connect our points cross out, then we have negative seven, positive two, so here's my negative seven for x, positive two is here, so we're gonna go along these lines, that's why there's these lines, okay, on your graph, so you can follow the lines and see where they meet, and that's how you know where to plot your point. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and connect Negative three and positive six. Here's my negative three, here's my positive six. So I'm gonna go up the three and to the side for six and see where they meet and they meet right here, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and connect my points. And then last but not least, it says zero, three. So zero, three is actually the second point we plotted and we're gonna end there, okay? And there you go. And as you can see, that the first column made a heart, okay? So we started and we went all the way through plotting the points until it said end, and we connected the points with a line and it created a heart. Now we're gonna move to the next section of the image. So we're gonna restart a new section. So. Nine and seven, here's my positive nine, my positive seven, so I'm gonna to go to the right 
along that line for seven, and I'm gonna go up this line for nine until they meet, and they meet right here. Okay, so that's gonna be my first point. I'm gonna go ahead and cross this out. And the next point is negative seven, negative nine. So here's negative seven, here's negative nine. So I'm gonna follow these lines until they meet, and they end up meeting right here. Okay, and now I go ahead and connect those dots. It says end, so I'm done with that section of the image. So now we're gonna start another section. So six and seven. So positive six, if we go up, here's my positive six, here's my positive seven. We follow the lines until they meet and we end up right here. The next one is nine and positive seven. So nine and positive seven is, oops, this dot is this dot right here that we already have. So that means we're gonna connect these two dots together, okay? And then we have nine and positive four. So we're gonna follow the lines for nine and four, and we end up here. We connect these, and we just made a little arrow, okay? Now we're done with that section of the image. We're gonna start on the last section. So negative seven, negative seven. If we follow negative seven, we're gonna go this way on the Y and we're gonna go down on the X until they meet and they meet right here. Okay? Then we have negative five, negative seven. And if we follow where they meet, negative five and negative seven, they meet right here. And we're gonna go ahead and connect these two dots, okay? And last but not least, we have negative five, negative nine. So negative five for X, negative nine for Y, we end up right here. We connect our last two dots. <clears throat> And we are done graphing our mystery graph. And as you can see, it ends up being a heart with an arrow running through it. So remember, each section, okay? This is a section. Each section is gonna be a different part of the image. So you start and stop connecting dots, okay? For <clears throat> each section. So the first section we connected the dots and it made the heart. The second section did not continue, right? It was a whole new thing. It was part of the arrow. So make sure that you're starting and stopping connecting the dots when it tells you start and end, okay? Now, some pa papers or some graphs you might be given might use the words start and stop. Um, mostly it's start and end, um, but it can show up either way, okay? And always remember, X is the first number, Y is your second number. And X is the lines going side to side, and Y are the lines going up and down, okay? And as always, if you have any further questions or need additional assistance, feel free to make an appointment with me for office hours. Bye.